What's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the TAP Airsoft RMR Ready Slide for the ASG CZP09. This video is actually an updated upload as I spoke with TAP Airsoft recently and they gave me some vital information that is not listed on the product page. So be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video for that vital information. This lightweight 3D printed slide is built around quick reset ability, allowing for a faster overall cycle rate and rapid follow-up shots. The slide also comes RMR ready, allowing for simple micro red dot installation. The TAP Airsoft RMR ready 3D printed slide for the ASG CZP09 was priced at 50 US dollars at the time I purchased it. I really love the ASG CZP09, however there are hardly any upgrade or replacement parts on the market for this platform. This slide serves as a performance upgrade when it comes to cycle rate. The TAP Airsoft 3D printed slide weighs in at only 35 grams, while the original metal slide that comes stock on the ASG CZP09 weighs more than double that. The lighter slide allows the gun to cycle faster as there is much less weight on the slide that needs to be shifted back and forth. I'm gonna go over the full installation now so you can see just how much work is needed to get this slide on your ASG CZP09. Starting with the slide removal, the thread protector needs to be removed before I go any further. Of course, make sure that there is no magazine in the gun, otherwise we cannot remove the slide. Rack back the slide and line up the notches in the rear and push the slide catch out from the back side. Now bringing the slide forward, it comes completely free. I'm not touching the lower at all today, so I'm gonna put that to the side for now. Here are the slides side by side for a quick visual comparison. To remove the guide rod and the recoil spring, simply pull the guide rod forward off of the notch that it sits on and the guide rod can now be fully removed. There are two washers towards the front that will fall free. Now to remove the barrel, simply push it forward and then pull it right back out. To remove the blowback housing and internals from the slide, remove the hex screw located here at the rear. This part is not necessary for removing the internals, but I'm going to remove my rear sights as well as I do plan on painting this old slide. Flipping the slide over, you can see this U-shaped bracket here in the rear of the blowback housing. It's just a metal clip holding in the unit. Using a flathead screwdriver, you can carefully pry the bracket out. From here, the blowback housing is completely free. You can gently pull on the nozzle to free it all up, but I like to push the housing out from the top side by using a very thin hex key through the hole that opened up after removing my rear sight. Be careful when you're doing this because the nozzle return spring is going to fall free when the unit is removed. Make sure to set it somewhere it can't roll away. And that is it for removing the internals. Now all we need to do is transfer all of this into the new tap slide. First things first, I place the nozzle return spring in the nozzle assembly. Ensuring that the spring doesn't come loose, I keep the blowback unit right side up and I push it up into the slide. Quick test just to make sure the nozzle return spring is in place and it looks good. Next is the U-shaped metal bracket. That simply gets pushed into the gap at the rear of the nozzle area. To lock all this in place, use the hex screw from the original slide. And there we go, all the internals are in. Now I slide the barrel and hop up unit into place, securing it with the recoil spring and the two washers.
I twist on my new aggressive thread protector, and that is it for the internal transfer. The slide is now ready to be mounted back on the CZP09, but before I do that I am going to be throwing on an RMR sight due to the fact that the 3D printed TAP Airsoft slide has absolutely no iron sights. The TAP Airsoft 3D printed slide already has holes cut for RMR installation. Using the provided hardware from my RMR, I simply secure it in place with the two screws. As always, all of the products that I used in this video can be found in the description below. The slide is ready to go, so I threw it back on the lower to see the final look. After installing the new slide, it was extremely stiff when it comes to the blowback action. The 3D printed slide still needs to be worked in a little to reduce friction along the rails. This was a simple solution as I just lubricated the slide contact points and I wore the slide in with some manual cycles. Here is how the slide is performing a few days after the install. I see no issues at all. The main selling points of this product to me are definitely the lightweight build for faster rate of fire and the RMR capability. Beyond that, I do really like the aesthetic of the slide, and since it's 3D printed, as the slide gets scratched up, it's only going to reveal more black material underneath, as opposed to the black metal slides getting very apparent silver scratches and dings along the surface. So guys, I actually took this build out to my 12 hour op, and on the very first shot to sight in my RMR, the TAP Airsoft 3D printed slide completely broke in half. I contacted TAP Airsoft and they told me that they do not recommend using CO2 mags with this slide as the CO2 gas output can be too much for this slide. Their customer service was absolutely great and they sent me a brand new slide. I stress tested the brand new slide with the exact same setup by putting a handful of green gas mags through it and I haven't seen any similar cracks or damages that I experienced while using CO2 mags. Using the standard green gas mags, I am getting a snappy response without any wear or tear. So just keep in mind that you should only run green gas mags while using this product. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to see this pistol in action. Thanks again guys, and I'll see you in the next one.